All right, hello. Um, so I'm going to do a video performance here of my Latin versions of Shel Silverstein's Invitation and then the Mr. Sun song, uh, which is by Joseph K. Phillips. All right, so here we go on the invitation. Invitatio illa, si plus somnias intra, si plus somnias, plus de sideras, plus naras, plus speras, plus horas et plus magicae quaritas, si simulas alias, apud me sedeas, no mecum, rope flamas, nunc fabulas dicas, intra, intra. All right, so you'll notice there I've got some, some repetitions, some poetic repetitions called anaphora of the C plus, C plus, and just the pluses in there. I've also got some end rhyme with the os endings, and including several of them that are ross specifically. Um, and I've got the repetition of the certain phrases like the intra at the beginning, and you get the ring composition with intra, intra at the end as well. All right, and now I'm gonna do my Mr. Sun. Now in Latin, um, so the invitation, I guess, is a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit closer to the original idea. Although if you look at it, if you're a dreamer, come in. If you're a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer, all of those are phrased with like nouns with an ER, right? Or at least an ER ending, whereas in the Latin, I've gone differently and used verbs, right? Um, so it is not particularly close. But on the Mr. Sun song, I am trying to keep not only poetic features, but also the rhythm so that I have the right number of syllables in, in the lines to make it fit the rhythm of the music. So I have made some changes here. And instead of Mr. Sun, I call him Sol Comes. Sol Comes means uh, companion son or son, my, my comrade, my buddy, something like that. Okay. Here it goes. Oso, oso come so mi ariuso in me luceas. Oso come so mi ariuso tos nebulam nun stas. I parvoli volunt ut facias, ut simul hic nobis cum tu ludas. Oso come so mi ariuso. In me luceas, so come so mi ariuso. In me luceas, so come so mi ariuso. Vos nebulam nun stas, i parvoli volunt ut facias, ut simul hic nobis cum tu ludas. So come so mi ariuso. In me luce, in me luce, in me luceas. All right. So, um, I mean, you can see some of the, the way that I've done this. So I've tried to keep the rhythm the same. Um, you know, again, there are things that are different, right? So it's Mr. Sun in the original, but I decided I didn't want to go with something like Senior or Dominus. Number one, because there are too many syllables. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's like the son's their buddy and he's playing with them in the song. So I went for Solka Mace, my, my comrade, my companion, my buddy. Um, I went for that. Um, instead of like saying Mr. Golden Sun, uh, I've got the me in there and me is kind of like for me or my, um, it's, it's a phrase that we get as a dative of mihi, an alternate for that, but also you see it in when you're addressing somebody sometimes in a vocative address. And I felt it made a little more friendly, uh, as an address to the sun. And you'll notice at the end, um, so... In English, the original song goes, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. And so I, I, I needed to, you know, somehow, you know, have that where the repetition builds, but then the last one's a little bit different. So I ended up doing it with Luke, the imperative for the first two, and then with the uh, subjunctive for the last one. So in May, Luke, shine on me. In my luke, shine on me, and then in my luke, us, you should shine on me, okay, with the subjunctive there. Um, so hopefully you can see how I use, you know, rhythm and different kinds of poetic features here. Um, poetic repetition, anaphora, that's when you repeat something at the beginning. 
Uh, you can also repeat things at the end of phrases and so on. You can use imagery and stuff like that. Um, oh, one thing I'll note here just to show how you can go away from the original. Um, you know, I already talked about the mister and I went to a companion or a friend instead. Um, so in the original song, it's like hiding behind a tree, right? And instead of hiding behind a tree, I went with you're standing now behind a cloud because, you know, he's the sun and it kind of makes sense more that he'd hide behind a cloud. And I just decided I liked Nebulon better than Arbor in there. I don't know. I just felt it, right? So again, you don't have to be at all literal in this, right? You're, you're kind of evoking the ideas, the concept behind the song or the poem, uh, and don't feel like you have to get stuck to the words or the particular wording. Um, you can be rather free with this. You know, you can change one simile for another kind of simile or whatever it might be, as long as it fits the kind of original concept or at least your interpretation of that original concept, right? Okay, well, I hope that made sense. I hope that you get an idea of what you wanna do with your performance. And just like here where I have the Latin text, uh, if you decide to do the extra credit video um, performance, make sure you do have your Latin version there so that I can sing along with you. All right, take care.